I wanted to start a little bit with uh, who V Technologies is and what we do. Uh, v Technologies has been in business and producing integrated shipping solutions since 1989. Our ShipGear product has been integrating with popular accounting and ERP packages since 2000 with the UPS uh, World Ship software. We also launched an integration to FedEx Ship Manager quickly after, giving our customers more carrier choices. And launched in the summer of 2015, we have a new USPS module. Here's a list of the supported systems, the accounting interfaces that we work with. We work with the QuickBooks system, Pro, Premier, and Enterprise, the Sage 50 programs, which were formerly known as Peachtree, Microsoft Dynamics GP, Sage 100, which was formerly known as Math 90 or 200, and Exact Macola. So why would you want to take a look at ShipGear and use ShipGear in your warehouse? Customers will see improved efficiencies in the warehouse by integrating directly to their orders or invoices inside their accounting system. ShipGear can quickly and accurately ship your packages, reduce the chances of having an incorrect address, which will lower any fees or chargebacks associated with the wrong address information being inputted into the carrier system. ShipGear can also update your customers with tracking information back into the order entry system. And with that, we can also bill your customers their correct shipping charges or apply any custom charges under custom freight rules. And included with ShipGear is a dashboard for quick access to shipment history for all carriers and gives you the ability to run reports on your shipping charges. Why would you want to take a look at using the post office? Post office supports all of the major USPS services like domestic, international information, including first class mail, priority mail, priority mail express, et cetera. Using the post office, you'll see a reduced rate in shipping charges. You'll receive commercial pricing with no minimum shipping requirements or contracts. And using both together with ShipGear, you'll get a customizable interface with us. You can adjust ship gear to fit your needs. You can change how field mappings are defined and brought over to the carrier uh, software. We can also automatically select service and billing information based on ERP field values, such as ship via. And any custom fields that you have inside either QuickBooks or your ERP system can be used for reference fields or shipping notifications. We also have a custom email notification system where you can include your logo, links back to your website, coupon codes, and schedule when and who to receive those emails. And through V Technologies and our partner, Parcel Partners, we can deliver CPP, which is commercial plus pricing and discounted rates to all your customers. You'll be able to take advantage of this uh, special promotion through Indisha. We have the website below for you to sign up for that special pricing through the post office. And for more information on the USPS module, you can visit our website, give us a call, or shoot us over an email. So what I'm gonna do now is actually show you the product in action. So what you're looking at here is the Indisha software. And what we are doing is building a bridge from your QuickBooks system over to Indisha. So ShipGear is already running in the background. The only thing that you need to have is either your order number or invoice number that you want to ship against. And you'll see a screen right here to punch that in. So I have my order ready to go. I'm going to punch in that number and hit the Enter key. What this is doing is retrieving order information off that sales order. So you'll see here that the address information and contact info has come over, customer name, their shipping address, city, state, zip. Through Indisha, we've verified that this is a correct address. We've also selected the mail class based on the ship via code inside of QuickBooks. So we've selected this as priority mail. And what we've also been able to do is grab information right from the reference fields. So we can add in info like your PO number, your sales order number, and you could also customize this with any um, information that you want to uh, correspond with with your customers, like a thank you. You can include other information like their name if you wanted to use some custom field maps to bring that over. 
since you're using ship gear there's no need to copy paste any data there's no double entry and you're ensured that you know that this is the correct address information as stored in QuickBooks or your other accounting packages so the only thing that you have left to do at this point is weigh the package we've brought in recipient phone number and other contact information off the customer card also so we'll leave this as the one pound and print the label by printing the label, this will create the shipping label from either a laser printer or a thermal printer. We'll also update QuickBooks with the tracking and shipping information. So here's an example of the label that will print out from your laser printer or thermal printer. And what we'll do here is go back into QuickBooks and take a look at this particular order. So we'll select that. And you'll see here that we've added a new line item. You can choose any type of shipping code that you want to have this correspond to. And you'll see additional tr tracking information that's come from the post office. You'll see shipped on information, tracking number, total shipment weight, and number of packages. I've also indicated what type of service this has gone. And I've updated the shipping charge with a $10 fee. I've used what's called the custom freight rules module to update with a $10 flat rate per package. You can use freight rules for a variety of different reasons. Um, if you charge free shipping based on um, the amount of the order, if it was $50 or more, for example, you can create a custom freight rule, or you can write back simply the charge that's coming back from the post office. In this instance, I just used my custom freight rules for that. And you'll also see that the ship to address was the field that we had pulled directly from. So any address information indicated in the ship to field got brought over automatically. We brought over the PO information for the reference field and the sales order number to another reference field called the rubber stamps inside Indicia. So that's what I had to show you today for ship gear. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, please give us a call. It's 800-462-4016, extension 216.